but I'm pleased with the work today. I thought the guys came out. Um, obviously, we know it's a big week. You know, you know obviously, a big opportunity for us. And uh, you know, I thought they came out and very competitive. It was fast. You know, guys uh, uh, continuing to, to push themselves. And uh, you know, I thought it was a, a really good work day. So some of the uh, young guys you, you see are just building in their confidence uh, with, with each rep, with each day. Uh, I thought some of those guys really, uh, really uh, stood out today and uh, you know, pleased with the continued progression. Who were some of those young guys? Uh, I thought some of the younger receivers. Uh, you know, I thought you know, Lewayne, uh, you know, BJ, uh, you know, Elijah flashed today. I thought he had one of his better days. Uh, you know, as you know, just as, as a whole, but uh, you know, uh, I thought those guys did a, did a really nice job. Uh, you know, you're continuing to see you know guys that. Uh, I thought DeMarco Ward played a little bit more uh, you know, there in the game the other day, you know, kind of his first you know, extensive uh, action, and I thought he did some good things. And uh, you know, seeing him continue to grow up uh, you know, in his, with, with his opportunities, uh, you know, obviously Blake uh, last week due to injury was you know, unavailable. You expected him back this week uh, to be able to play. But uh, you know, it was good to see DeMarco take advantage of, of some of those reps and uh, you get a chance to go and play at a, uh, play at a good level. Your coaches talk about you know, teams get better from week one to week two. Did that apply similarly to a guy like Luke this first week? Absolutely. I mean, it's a you know, especially the first uh, you know first experience you know of uh, you know getting you know adapt to speed. Uh, you know some of the things that uh, you know that he did well. Some of the things that he might have missed. You know, just um, you know that where you know he, I mean, he, and what I liked is that he was aware of it. You know really quick and uh, uh, what, what areas of what is a, a protection read one of those things that can could, could, uh, uh, you know just allow him to be a little bit better uh, and that's where uh, you, know, you want to see that continued improvement and, and really, I, mean, you know, I think you see great improvement you know, throughout the course of the year and you know, that's what we're pushing for you know, not just in that you know, one position or, or you know, even just the young guys but everybody you gotta go you gotta take steps what is it that Miami does defensively that can make life difficult I mean, it's very multiple. Uh, you know, aggressive. I think, I think they uh, they've got good speed. I think their defensive front's probably one of the better fronts uh, you in the country. Uh, you know, just what they what they've done and how they've performed. Uh, you know, and so you know, when you they mix it up. Uh, you know, at, at, a, at a high rate, whether it's three down, four down, uh, really balanced when it comes to that. You know, d definitely a variation of coverages. Um, that can all you know provide some challenges. Uh, you know if you're not if you're not great with your eyes, but uh, you know, I think for them it starts in their, that that forcing unit, the uh, defensive front, and those linebackers that have done a really good job. How important is the extra day of preparation? You get guys healthy. You know, starting off on a, on a Friday last week, obviously Monday today. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, we're trying to take advantage of uh, the time. Um, you know, guys still had the, their, their off day and the, and the chance to uh, work that yesterday. But, uh, you know, for, for us just to be able to uh, you know, get a jump start into the game plan, you know, come back tomorrow and it won't be much physically for them, but, you know, try to continue to push the, the mental mental aspect of, of preparation. Maybe it, it's just, just seeing things a little quicker, you know, making sure that uh, we're on point with our communication. Obviously, it's a big part of today is, you know, working, you know, crowd noise communication. Making sure we're ready for, for all things that, uh, that we might face. With Omar being more active, is it just a matter of being healthy? Or what you yeah, I mean, it's really, it's, it's you know, unfortunately, it's, he's dealt with a lot of injuries, you know, and, and really last year, played most of the year, you know, injured, you know, first, you know, fall camp, you know, he had the, uh, you know, had the ankle that, that really slowed him and, um, you know, tried to push through and, and some of those things, but when, as, as he's, as he's gotten healthy, and you know, you see the the knowledge. I mean, he's a very smart player. Uh, you see the you know quick reactions, and now you're starting to see the the, the flashes of athleticism and, and playmaking ability. So definitely been proud of him. Is, is there anything you can you can get from your analysts and quality control guys mid season to, to change some of the things that take things off guys' plates and help you know cover up some I don't know gaps or, or anything when it comes to having the ability to game plan and get things you know, solved on the offensive line. Yeah, I'm, I mean, are you, so you're speaking, speaking specifically? Mostly, of, mostly the offense, you know, not the offense. I shouldn't single out the offense line. But can you, at this point of the season, have an analyst maybe do some more to take something off Alex's plate, for example, or do something to help you out more to take things off? Yeah, I mean, you know, ultimately, I, I think that you know we have we have a great organizational approach and uh, how we and how we do that and break things up. And so, uh, you know, it's uh, you know we've we've got to make sure we just do it. Better job of uh, you know, implementing that uh, you know, during the uh, course of the game, and that, that it shows to be productive. I mean, uh, this is my first year of ever doing this. You know, I'm 
done it quite a bit. We actually have had more um, you know, personnel than what I've ever you know, been able to uh, you know, have on an off offensive staff. So uh, you know, we just we just haven't done a good enough job. So that's really as much as anything else that we've got to do a better job. It seemed like there were a few times that we were able to have some perimeter blocking. Is that them improving? It's it's a it's a combination of uh, the fundamental uh, aspect of being of being applied in the moment and then toughness, physicality, uh, want to. I mean, you gotta you gotta make the choice to, to you know, every play expect the ball to be coming right behind you. And you know, if you bring that mindset, uh, you know, it's gonna put you in the best position to you know, have a chance to be successful. And that's where uh, you know I know we're challenging you know those guys because it showed up and we've had some negative um, or you know, even not even a negative you know results of plays, but maybe not you know, fulfilling the, the potential of what a play can be. Um, we've, had, we've had too many plays when you stop the film, uh, and, you know, we've got great hot counts, we've got great leverage, we've got great you know, things, and whether it's a, a, a lack of technique in the moment or whether um, maybe not expecting you know, the ball to show up where it does, I mean, it's, you, you give somebody else an, an opportunity. And so we gotta, we got to make sure we continue to fight there, and uh, you know, I thought there were some good uh, moments to be able to affirm you know, positive action. How much of a factor do you think drop running was the overall success of the running game? Did you see anything carry over today in practice? Makes you think you guys were onto something. Or no, I mean, it's a you know if, if the team's not going to account you know for the quarterback, we want to make sure that uh, you know we can you know, take advantage of that. And uh, you know that I thought there, that showed up a few times. It's uh, not really anything different that we've that we've called. I mean, we got a couple different looks that what we you know haven't seen. Um, where you know the, that space and, and opportunity showed up, I thought he did a good job of, of trusting his uh, uh, you know keys and reads and, and you know making the most of it. Okay.